Okay, we are chapter 15, oscillatory motion. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, here they show a, a grandfather clock and the pendulum swing of the, um, the weight um, is a example of oscillatory motion. But let's, let's look at a block. Let's look at uh, when the block is displaced to the right of the equilibrium, the force exerted by the spring acts to the left. When the block is at its equilibrium position, the force exerted by the spring is zero. When the block is displaced to the left of equilibrium, the force exerted by the spring acts to the right. We should all recognize this as Hooke's law. The force of the spring is equal to minus kx because the force is opposite the minus comes from the force being opposite the uh, uh, direction of x. So in other words, if you pull x in this way, the force is in the opposite direction. If you push the spring in this direction, the force is in the opposite uh, direction. So uh, <clears throat> along the x direction, force is equal to mass times acceleration. So minus kx equals to uh, mass times acceleration in the x direction. So if we solve for acceleration uh, of x, that's equal to minus uh, k over m times x. Um, so the, a block uh, on the end of a spring is pulled to a position x equals a and released from rest. In one, in one full cycle of its motion, through what total distance does it travel? Um, a over 2. A, 2A, or 4A. So let's think about it. Let's say this is your equilibrium position. You pull a direction A and you release it. So it's going to travel A. It's going to travel A in this side, travel back A, and then A again. So that's actually four times that it's uh, traveled a distance A. And there's the answer, 4A. Okay, so this is just a, 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 a um, quick little intro. Uh, we'll pick it up in the next uh, little section.